All right, in Contra Costa County, meanwhile, today is the day a new COVID booster shot mandate kicks in. Today in the base, Sharon Katsuda is live there this morning. Sharon, talk to us about who has to show that proof that they got the booster and what happens if they don't. That's right, Chris. It's a long list from county firefighters to law enforcement to those working in homeless shelters. Now, the mandate is geared towards those who work in or may respond to emergency calls in high risk facilities such as hospitals, nursing homes and jails. Our data is really clear that people who have been boosted have a much lower risk of um, getting coronavirus or transmitting coronavirus. It doesn't take the risk away completely but it does reduce it and even if you do get coronavirus your case tends to be a lot milder so you're much less likely to be hospitalized um, or even die employees who are part of this mandate aren't yet boosted who will have to go through weekly covid testing the rise in omicron has led to staffing shortages among frontline workers across the country prompting health officials to push booster shots. Santa Clara County also recently announced its own booster shot requirement. Now the Contra Costa County Health says that the eligible people 16 or older have received 45% of the residents in Contra Costa County have received the booster shots. Reporting live in Contra Costa County, I'm Sharon Katsuda, Today in the Bay.